Hi, welcome to week 10 on deck Bible moments. <clears throat> I had a variety of Bible stories to use this week, but I have found myself in a bit of a different direction. So I'm only going to use one, one that I'm sure you're familiar with, Jonah and the Whale, or Jonah and the Big Fish, or in some translations, Jonah and the Sea Monster. The first part of the story that always stood out was the direction. Jonah is asked to go to the city of Nineveh. He decides not to go, because he doesn't want to, and goes in another direction, opposite of what God told him. Second uh, was that this was an assignment from God. Jonah falls under the category of first missionaries. Leave your land, go to the land of the Assyrians, and tell them they need to repent of their sins. Third, as I mentioned last week, historical evidence has come up. Many of the Bible Old Testament stories um, have histor historical um, findings behind them now. Uh, there was a tomb near Nineveh of Jonah the prophet, and uh, in that area, the city of Nineveh used to be thought of as a myth or just a story, and that was found in the 19th century. Fourth, God will show mercy to those who repent. Fifth, Jesus refers back to the Jonah story when he talks about three days that Jonah was in the whale. And why would Jesus reference a story in the New Testament if it wasn't true in the Old Testament? Lastly, could it be, uh, the Internet gives us some stories that whales have swallowed people, and there is a big enough whale that still travels in the waters where Jonah was, and it's still there today. So Jonah was traveling, and he tried to not go with God's plan, and was swallowed by a whale. That event changed his direction. I'm making this week a little shorter due to some health issues I am having. On Sunday early morning, as well as on my knees Sunday afternoon, I prayed that God would heal me. Uh, but as well, I, I had some other requests in that. Answers for my family I prayed for. <clears throat> Answers for my employment. Uh, that I would be lifted from despair brought on by the world events, as well as employment. Answers for what my family is going through. Um, that I would try and break this habit of not writing things off because <clears throat> of the current conditions we're going through. Like I used to keep contact with uh, certain friends, but since we are going through this time, I have gotten distracted. Um, I'm more concentrated on safety uh, for my family, on food and finances. I used to pray more, I used to read the Bible more, but right now I can not really stay focused. So I asked the Lord to help me to stay focused. Um, I asked for relief from stress, um, that I would get rest. I'm very tired, um, very frustrated, and I have to have those feelings taken from me. Um, like I mentioned, healing of medical conditions. I'm finding it hard right now to uh, do this video this week, but I know that there's people who watch. Um, I prayed for patience because I don't want to go through a lot of this stuff anymore. Uh, I don't want to come out the other end of this and say, well, I'm glad God was with me and that he put me through this, that it was a trial, and that he want to show answers to prayer. Um, I've prayed for patience with my coworkers who want to take my job away, patience with customers who think ordering 5,000 parcels a day is making the job better for the Postal Service. And I also prayed to help me get serious with God. Someone just asked me, when you pray, how do you know the answer is from God? I answered first and said, you have to be serious. When we pray at the dinner table, uh, God is good, bless my food, amen, we're just filling in the most basic relationship requirements or relationship obligations we may feel with God. When we were kids, we prayed as kids. Um, now lay me down to sleep, bless mom and dad and uncle Jim. Uh, 
plus great Grammy and my not so great Grammy, <coughs> my cousin in Arizona, and we would say amen. I know throughout my life since knowing God and accepting Him, I can say when we are serious with God, God is serious with us. When we pray specifically for something, uh, with details, pray about exact things and outcomes, when an answer comes, we should know it is from God. I remember back when I was 12, I was on my way to have an operation with the doctor, and I prayed, Lord, I am scared. I do not want this operation. I know I can't handle it. I'm afraid there's going to be mistakes. And I'm afraid that something's going to go wrong. On the way, my mother, who always seemed to tie in medical trips with eating, <coughs> took me to a, re a restaurant, and we were on our way to the doctor. During that time, um, the medical condition cleared up while we were eating lunch. The doctor said, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be looking for. There's nothing there. My mom told the story, well, at lunch we thought it was funny. And the doctor said, well, I guess you've been healed of the condition. I had had a doctor uh, <clears throat> said to me, I believe you have a possible cancerous growth. <clears throat> this goes back a few years, and I prayed about it. And uh, when I got there, the doctor said the same thing. I said, well, the growth, I believe, fell off the other day, but I kept the um, <clears throat> cream on it and kept it bandaged like the doctor said. He said he was surprised that the doctor had sent me to a specialist for that. I said, well, it could be something else. I was praying that I would be healed of that. I had had a relationship that was not going well, and I tried to work it out on my own. And I got on my knees and prayed, and, and I cried, <clears throat> that there would be an answer to this. That it had gone on so long. <clears throat> and I uh, opened the Bible and read just a few verses just a random opening of the Bible. I took those verses and made a decision. I found out later everyone else knew what was going on except for me. <clears throat> I had had my answer. Had I not done that, I am not sure where I would be today. There was another relationship that I prayed about that had to end. That was my prayer, that this has to end. There was danger involved in the relationship. And I didn't want there to be a lottery where one of the people in that relationship won a lot of money and decided to leave and go to another country. <clears throat> I didn't want uh, some kind of career change to come in and the relationship end. I didn't want to go through a time period where there was a new person um, trying to get in on the relationship to break it up so that they could be part of the relationship. That relationship just ended. That was it. In these cases, um, the prayer requests were specific. I, I don't believe that when you pray specifically, that it is just by chance that the answer comes up exactly what you had prayed for. Did Jonah get spit out of the whale and say, that was a crazy ride, and continue on in the opposite direction that he had been heading in the beginning? No, he said, I think God is serious, and I need to reverse direction and take this serious too. An example of being serious is like when you take a trip with your family, you're all traveling in the same direction, on the same road. <clears throat> For example, from New Jersey to Florida. Uh, the kids are on their phones, they're playing video games, maybe they're watching a movie, maybe they're doing schoolwork. <clears throat> you are serious, um, you have planned, you have saved your money, you're keeping your eye on the road, <clears throat> you've kept a budget during your trip, uh, you've planned out food, lunch, dinner, breakfast. Uh, you have a mission. You want to get to Florida. You want to visit friends. <clears throat> you want to show the kids uh, maybe the Gulf of Mexico. You want to visit parks. It's a planned trip. On the way home, you've planned out places to stay. You've planned uh, maybe surprises for the kids. You want to show them landmarks or maybe places that you've visited before. Your kids are thinking about getting home. <clears throat> thinking about how cool it would be to be back in their bedroom with all their stuff, um, hanging out with their friends. You are focused on tomorrow. You are focused on the future. You are focused on the plan. <clears throat> you are serious. The other people were not. 
<clears throat> Some have said when we come out of this, there will be a new landscape of <clears throat> what we're going through right now. Much like the flood in Noah, <clears throat> when the waters subsided, there was a new landscape in the land. But we have to understand, no matter what we're going through, that God's hand is still at work. I pray this week for answers in my life, direction in my life, patience for the answers to come. I have opened up to show that even though I can make this video, I still struggle with the world I live in. <clears throat> I am feeling defeated, and I hope that this is transparent this week, uh, that this means something, that I've opened up. And we are overwhelmed sometimes by the amount of problems that can stack up, but it is how we react to those individual problems you have, those individual difficulties you have, that counts. Pray out each and every problem specifically. You can go to God with your prayer request and get the answers you need this week. Pray for me as well. Thank you in advance. God bless. Again, if you want to message me on the side, I would be willing to pray for you. Have a good week.